Well, a lot of people are taking on a side gig, a side hustle to bring home some yep. extra cash, but we thought we would try to help you do it the right way. Lawyer, CPA, and author Mark Kroller joins us. Boy, Mark, that's a lot. You've <laughs> Yeah, I've CPA, got a lot of side author, hustles. <laughs> lawyer, like talk about, okay, so uh, we want to talk about making extra money because tax day is upon us. Yeah. One in three Americans who are working have a side job. What are, what are they typically doing? Well, uh, a variety of things. Yeah. And uh, driving Uber, mm -hmm. maybe selling something online, a little service business, doing some real estate. And people are starving for some a little extra income to just make ends meet. It, mm -hmm. It's really something that's just grown out of the desire to maybe build a retirement and have some extra income. Is it a good idea to do? If, like, if you're watching and you're like, wait a minute, I don't, I don't have a side gig. Yeah. What, are, what are some things that people should be considering? Well, first of all, the, why don't we wake up every day with a little more happiness? That over 50% yeah. of Americans hate their job. They just don't. <laughs> it's like Department of Labor surveys just show job satisfaction so low. We've got the American dream at our fingertips. Mm -hmm. Let's do something we love. Let's get passionate about something again. And I know you may not be able to binge watch as much Netflix people, but it's okay. You know, let's <laughs> let's get out and make some money and do something we love. What are some of the potential pitfalls? Well, I think people need to realize that it's going to take a little time, mm -hmm. and they've got to be cautious if they're going to be uh, disorganized. You know, with uh -oh. their with their books. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to say, "Oh, I'm going to make some money on the side," but then they yeah. throw books out the window. Or if they are serving people face to face or kind of a customer service scenario, we've got to look at legal liability, and we want to be cautious. But really, there's so much you can even do online, and just some small things that can make that that make that extra difference in our lives. I know a lot of people do MLMs, the multi-level marketing, yeah. so what's your take on that? I think that's great. If there's a product that speaks to you and you enjoy it and you don't mind maybe talking to your friends or neighbors or your network, because <laughs> that's really what it's about, working your network, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. it, it's a great gateway drug to get you into business <laughs> and, and doing things. And I understand you even have a small business on the side. Voiceover? That's right. Yeah. A little bit of voiceover. That's I think great. I call it Casey LLC. <laughs> <laughs> Real creative with it. No, I love it. But if you enjoy it and you can make some extra money on it, why not, right? Yeah. But it gets confused. Like, for me, it's confusing. Like, I'm not a numbers person. I'm a creative person. And I know a lot of people are creative. And it starts to become this gray area of what do I need to know? What don't I know? I'm when it comes to legal stuff oh, and all of that. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought it up because it's not just legal. It's a little bit of bookkeeping. It's just good right. business management. We don't learn this in school. Mm -hmm. We don't learn it even in college we unless should, we really though. focus on it right. Yeah. So I really encourage people, one of those risks is to jump into it without education. Start, really? I, I, yeah. like just Go it, in. Yeah, and the type of education you could do is really simple. Just subscribe to Entrepreneur Magazine. Get on get on their site. There's so many resources. Ryan Shea, the, the president, does such a great job with this organization. Um, and get a little maybe training in some classrooms or online education. If you want to dive into real estate, I love Renatus. It's an online course that can help you learn real estate. I just want to give all these resources. Yeah, people can I get out there it. and go, real estate? I can learn how to do real estate or yeah. whatever it may be. Just start studying. Get some good newsletters going. Listen to some good podcasts. Get your juices flowing. Is there a line between it being worth it and not being worth it when it comes to devoting your time into something? Like, is that when Ew. it comes to the risk reward of like, Oh gosh, I don't want to spend all of my weekends doing my side hustle if it's only to make a certain amount. Yeah, that that's a really good point because if you're not making money at it, is it a hobby? Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good okay. Point. And yeah, but if you're if you're not making money at it and you're not enjoying it, mm -hmm. stop. Okay. But really, I think we can find some way to make revenue at what we love doing, as long as it's legal. You know, people right. remember that. <laughs> but, but if you love doing it, let's get out there and start testing the product, testing the service. And if you enjoy it, and if you're passionate about the industry or the product or the service you're doing, it's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you're making some extra money to pay down debt, get a debt snowball going, and then start funding a Roth IRA. Use that money not to maybe increase your lifestyle. We as Americans are terrible at that. We'll make a little money and we'll oh, spend man. more. Yeah. Let's save it. Let's pay off debt. And all of a sudden we start to feel a little bit of breathing room. That side business is a tool to make our life better. And there's so much opportunity. That sounds like it's a tool to not feel stuck for people who are feeling stuck. Yeah. We have the glass ceiling. Right. So many people have a job where I'm never going to make so much more per hour. Well, how do the rich get richer? Mm -hmm. They do something on the side, whether it's real estate or a service business. And if you've got some inside knowledge, maybe partner with someone. That oh, has, that's a great idea. Yeah, someone that may have the money or the time. Look at your resource and say, you know what? Partnerships are not bad. Mm -hmm. Make sure you document it. Let's not write it on a napkin at Denny's. You know? <laughs> but partner with someone that could complement your skill set. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it could be lonely, and now you have a team member. I love that.
that. Sign up over Moons Over Miami as long as it's an actual piece of paper and not, <laughs> not the Denny's napkin. <laughs> and you have right. a book out. I want to make sure people can read up more. The Tax yeah. and Legal Playbook. Yeah, the Tax and Legal Playbook. I've got a second edition coming out next month because of the... Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which really makes small business better than ever. Really? You know, yeah. With, with the Tax Cuts Act, it helped big corporations with a tax cut, helped individuals with some standard deduction increases and all that. But there was a huge section for small business. If you want to save taxes, have a small business on the side. Now I can write off things that you may have not been able to. Cell phone, home office, some travel, some auto. I mean, when you're doing your voiceover, man, you're on the road. Yeah. You've got, got to write that off. Yeah. <laughs> Kohler, thank you so much. Thank you. I think people are at home like relaxing over breakfast. They're like, no, we're going to get out and work. This, this is the year. This is Let's the year. It. Let's, Let's make do some it. money. Okay. <laughs>